Hi, I'm Tim Tressler. I'm the eLearning and Library Director here at Bates Tactical College, and I'm here to just walk you through some of the basics of getting started in Canvas, especially for those of you who might not ever used it before. We want to make this as easy as possible for you. Uh, first and foremost, if you run into any problems or are having difficulties, please contact us. Our phone number is 253-680-7233, and our email is OLC for Online Learning Center, OLC at BatesTech.edu. So we're going to start off on our homepage. We get there and you'll notice right at the top there's a link that says Canvas. So we click that and it takes us to our Canvas page. You'll notice by the way that it says Bates on top. It's blue and it says Bates Student ID. This might seem obvious but many people will Google Canvas or they'll go to an old login from a previous college they attended. So please make sure that you are on this page and then simple enough, especially for our first login, you simply enter your Bates Student ID number in both the Bates Student ID number and the password box and that's the setting for almost all of you. If for any reason that doesn't work then feel free as I said give us a call and we can reset your password and walk you through the process. Alright so this is your dashboard when you log in you'll see these class cards here these are the classes that you're enrolled in now you might have about this many you might actually have more if you're in a bunch of one credit classes you might have six or seven or eight classes here you might not even have any, especially since the quarter hasn't started yet. Your teachers might not have published it. Don't panic if that happens. They'll be available on the first day of the quarter at the latest. Okay, but we see these cards here. Now you do have a few things you can do here. Again, if you have a lot of them, you might want them in a certain order. So you can just click on the cards and drag them. Uh, the other thing you can do is click on this more button here and you can make some changes to the card. For example, this name uh, is fairly useless. It's PNUR 292 winter 20 and item number the date that it meets and the key thing that you care about phlebotomy is actually cut off. So you can go in here and simply type in phlebotomy. I can also choose a color. Let's say I wanted something a little more snazzy like a purple. Uh, by the way, these are hex codes here. If you're really anal retentive about your color, you could even say, man, I'm really in the mood for midnight blue. So I Google midnight blue hex code. Yes, that actually is a thing. I type in the hex code and there you go. I now have a card that says phlebotomy and it is that wonderful midnight blue that we just talked about. Okay, so that's how you can rearrange it. Now, having said that, I actually would not recommend this view. This is the card view, and it does make it very easy to just get started right in your classes. But most people, when they log in, really want two pieces of information. Number one, what's due? And number two, what are my grades? So Canvas designed what's called the to-do list. It's called list view right here. And so if you click on that more button again and change to list view, we can actually see so I'm going to go back because I had an assignment due last week and as you'll notice here's the phlebotomy class that I'm enrolled in and if I click on show one completed item I see my my essay was graded I see that I turned it in late and it tells me what my grade is and it even gives me uh, feedback from the instructor if I scroll down I can see that I've got a cold fusion project coming up in a week or so and then at the end of the month I need to learn Sanskrit calligraphy so it seems like I have a busy month booked out for me but this is the to-do list and again it tells you what's due it tells you what's coming up it tells you what assignments you're missing and it also lets you know as soon as something is graded and shows you the instructor feedback on it okay so that is your dashboard again this is the to-do view or you can switch back to the card view okay now the next thing we want to do is just show you a couple of basic changes you can make in the way that your Canvas account is configured. So I'm going to click on account and the first thing I'm going to do is a nice basic one but that a lot of people care about. If I click on profile, I can click on this pencil here and add or change a photo. And the easiest thing for most of you will just be to upload a photo. You could also just take a picture and use that. But that's how you add a photo to your profile. Uh, the one that we care a lot about is if we click on settings there's a few things in here for example if you click on edit settings for those of you who say I really don't like the fact that my password is not secure at all well right here you have the change password button and you can change it from your Bates student ID to whatever you want do be aware if you forget that we cannot tell you what it is what we'll do is reset it back to your uh, Bates student ID again but here's where you can go in and change your password but the thing we really want to point out to you, because it's critically important, is over here on the right side, you have this Ways to Connect. 
and for almost all of you it'll have your Bates email address there. Now I wish that every single one of you checked your Bates email regularly but the fact is we know a lot of you won't and you might miss some critical information. So what we strongly recommend is either clicking on the add email address here and adding a personal email like your Gmail account or clicking on add contact method and adding a cell phone. That way, if there's something important your instructor has, whether it's an announcement, a uh, change in grades, a due date, anything like that, you'll get that notification instantly at a place where you're actually going to see it, okay? Uh, I hate to turn into your mom, but just to nag you one little bit, realize that if your instructor changes something, uh, changes a due date, changes their expectations for an assignment, ooh, I never checked my Bates email account, oops, is not going to be an acceptable excuse. So on behalf of your instructor, here's the friendly nag. Please go in and add an email or add a cell phone or add both, okay? Just a quick note, I realize some people might have to pay for a text or might have a limited number of texts. So if you click on notifications up here, you do have the, the ability to go in and change the number of notifications you get. So anything with a check mark, says notify me right away. Anything that has a clock selected says that you'll get a daily summary at the end of the day summarizing what happened. The send weekly summary, which means you'll get a weekly summary. And then the X says, don't ever send that to me. I'll figure it out when I go in and log in. Canvas, by the way, does a really good job of the settings on these. But if you want to get more or less frequent notifications, you can go in and change it. All right. Okay, so that about does it. The last thing we're gonna say is just give you a strong recommendation. If you've got great access to a computer and you're always gonna do your work on your laptop and never be on the move, then great, you can do it that way. But for almost all of us, we wanna have mobile access to our classes. So if you simply go to Google Play and type in Canvas, you can find the Canvas student app. Or for our Apple users, if you go to the App Store uh, with Apple, same thing. Type in Canvas or Canvas Student, you'll find it there. You can download it, it is free, and it does have just about full functionality. So you can get announcements, you can send emails to your instructor, you can do assignments, you can even take a quiz, okay? So all of that's available to you through the app, and again, we strongly recommend using the app. Having said that, I will wish you the absolute best of luck in this quarter to come. Again, if you have any questions at all, our phone number is 253-680. 7233 and our email is olc at batestech.edu. We hope to hear from you and other than that have a great quarter.